Welcome back to Teshkid FX for another Fetch AI price prediction update and in this video I'll be giving you the latest developments that have been happening here on the Fetch AI chart which at the time of this recording is holding below the 20 day MA here on the 4 hour chart which is now acting as resistance. We have also continued to obey the ADO structures where we had been seeing a bit of a breakdown to the lower side in the formation of this wave 2 in a move that managed to get into the minimum retracement area which which lies between the $0.3305 mark and the $0.2706 mark in a move that gave us a low at around the $0.2964 mark and having managed to get into the minimum retracement area in the formation of that wave 2, whatever we expected next was the start of an impulsive wave to the upside in the formation of this wave 3 and all this is playing out after we fully picked in the formation of a larger ADO wave count 1 to the upper side and that is after seeing the formation of a 5 wave structure to the upper side having the wave 5 giving us a peak at around the $0.6109 mark and also completing the formation of that first wave to the upper side and before I get further into the technical analysis to give you the short term scenarios and also sketch out my target areas to the upper side in the formation of that wave 3 first give this video a thumbs up subscribe to the channel and also check out the channel membership and allow me to first sketch out a target area to the upper side in the formation of that wave 3 by connecting the trend based Fibonacci from the low of the first wave to the high of that wave one then dragging the FIBs to the low of the second wave and that now gives me a minimum target area to the upper side in the formation of that wave three at the FIB level 1.618 and that is at around the 1.1966 dollar mark and that is the minimum that I'm expecting that wave three to the upper side to do and in the formation of that wave three which is an impulsive wave I'm also expecting to see a five wave structure in formation having the wave five fully maximizing our target areas and also giving us the high for that higher ADO wave count 3 to the upper side and it is this ADO wave structure which is a micro ADO wave count within the formation of this wave 3 that I'm expecting to give me the short term scenarios that I'm expecting to play out and that is better seen here on the 1 hour chart so jumping to the 1 hour chart for further analysis and to give you the short term scenarios you can see that after seeing our low in the formation of this wave 2 we started this massive run up to the upper side of being the ADO wave structures where we have fully picked in the formation of that first wave of this ADO wave structure in red in a move that gave us a peak at around the $0.5 mark and after seeing the high for that wave 1 we started a corrective structure in the formation of this wave 2 and using the Fibonacci's connecting them from the low of the first wave down there to the high of that wave 1 I was able to come up with a minimum retracement area in the formation of that wave 2 between the Fib level 0.5 and the Fib level 0.78 which is a target area that lies between the $0.3913 mark and the $0.3382 mark which is the minimum retracement area within which I was expecting to see the low for this second wave and at the time of this recording you can see we have managed to get into the minimum retracement area suggesting that there are high chances that we have not bottomed out in the formation of this wave 2 and very soon we can expect our impulsive wave to the upside in the formation of this wave 3 to start and sketching out a target area to the upper side in the formation of this wave 3 assuming that fetch AI is not going to give us one more leg down in the formation of this wave 2 but by connecting the trend based Fibonacci from the low of the first wave to the high of that wave one then dragging the FIBs to the low of the second wave that now gives me a minimum target area to the upper side in the formation of that wave 3 at the FIB level 1.618 and that is at around the $0.6625 mark and that is the minimum that we can expect that wave 3 to the upper side to do but you also need to have in mind that the high chances that the breakdown will still continue here in the formation of this wave 2 maybe to give us one more leg down within the formation of this wave 2 and that is within this blue target area and in case such a move plays out then I think there will be no reason for panic because as long as we are holding within the blue target area then there are high chances that soon we are going to see a reversal and start gearing up in the formation of these larger ADO wave count 3 to the upper side and in case we see one more leg down then I'll be able to sketch out new target areas to the upper side in the formation of that wave 3 so let's continue watching the area between the $0.3907 mark and the $0.335 mark because we need to continue holding within the blue target area for us to still say that whatever we are seeing is a corrective structure to the lower side in the formation of this wave 2 and in 
case we lose the blue target area then that will be suggesting an alternative scenario and even further breakdown here on the fetch ai chart and also taking a look at the indicators to see what movements will be supported on the rsi we are trading at around the 39 mark meaning we have massive room for us to fully support higher prices and in case the breakdown continues that movement will still be supported on the market you have been able to print a bullish cross but you are seeing a bit of a decrease in the selling in the buying momentum suggesting that lower prices might be coming our way so let's be patient and see how that plays out and i'll be keeping you updated